Good morning, peeps. We're going to read a bit. This is written by Kathy Mayfield. The verse for today is Luke 6, 37. Do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Mom, come quick. A giant green moth is on the wall. I smiled and joined our daughters by the bathhouse at the retreat center where we were camping. Indeed, a large green moth with wings outspread sat on the outside wall of the building. It's a Luna moth. Remember seeing them in the cabin? I said. On occasion, a Luna moth showed up in the morning on the walls of the outhouse of the cabin where we were spending the summer vacation. I enjoyed seeing their large wings almost the size of a man's hand. <clears throat> The next morning, I headed to the bathrooms. As I walked up the hill, I gasped. Delicate, pale green wings littered the ground, maybe a half a dozen, each a piece of what used to be a luna moth. Angry tears sprang to my eyes as I thought of the rambunctious boys I'd been playing near the building the day before. Why would they do such a thing, ripping the wings off of those beautiful creatures just for fun? The anger hung over me like a shroud all day, ruining my last day of the retreat. I didn't see the boys, or I hadn't given them a piece of my mind, or I would have given them a piece of my mind. However, that was God keeping me from making a mistake. I discovered after returning home that bats, which we'd seen flying around at dusk near our campsite, zoom after luna moths snatched their plump bodies in midair, and then let the graceful wings float to the ground. It had all been a part of the cycle of life, not the mischievous antics of little boys. Convicted of my always too quick to judge ways, I asked forgiveness and vowed not to judge my fellow human beings as God's command in his word. I thought that was good because I do that so fast. You know, it's like I see something out of place and I right away go, oh, <laughs> the anger just jumps up. And I don't stop to think the the truth of the situation. I just jump to conclusions and I don't, I don't wait. And I know it's not the way to be and it's frustrating. I need to work on that. I'm bringing out my book. Good morning, Heavenly Father. I thank you so much that you're patient with each and every one of us. That when we jump to conclusions, you still love and care for us. And eventually put us down the right path of where we should be. Teach us to have your love for each and every one of the other people out on this earth. And also the wildlife that you've so graciously given us. I'm bringing up my peeps, lords, the one in the book and the ones not. They also need your love and attention please lord look over them i'm bringing this all up in jesus name amen that's it peeps i hope this finds you absolutely amazing stay blessed until next time hey you made it to the end please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching